Hey everybody, we're gonna dive through a list of books that we crowdsourced on LinkedIn, on Twitter, on Slack, about business, about psychology, or about the future. For all these books, we're gonna do a summary of one or two sentences maximum. If we forgot any books that you think should be in the list, please put them in the comments below. And as usual, if you want the full list, if you wanna download the full list, just use this URL or click in the link in the description. So we got a really long list, let's get started. Let's kick it off with blitz scaling. Once you've hit product market fit, grow faster than anyone, optimize later. Think speed over efficiency and market share over profit margins. Peak. Talent is a little bit overrated. To become an expert, to reach peak performance, 10,000 hours of practice isn't enough. You need to use deliberate practice. Predictably irrational. Your brain is constantly playing tricks on you. You're not the homo economicus you thought you were. And by the way, numbers nine and seven are the best converting numbers. Meditation. A deep dive into stoicism and a deep dive into the brain of one of the most powerful men that ever existed. The hard thing about hard things. Building businesses is hard as hell and brutal honesty is usually better than hypocritical politeness. Zero to one. Find a secret no one knows. Build a monopoly with no competition and of course be a contrarian. Go against the wave. Thank you for being late. The rate of technological change is increasing faster than humans can adapt and most of the big internet breakthroughs actually happened in 2007. Rich dad, poor dad. Most American millionaires actually live really thrifty lives with $30,000 cars and your house is actually less of a good investment than you might think. Influence. There are six powerful psychological techniques to persuade people to do things and it turns out social proof and scarcity, fear of missing out, are the two most powerful. Mindset. Embrace lifelong learning. You're not an expert, you're forever a student. And congratulate children on their effort rather than their intelligence. Four steps to the epiphany. Actually talk to your customers before and after you've built something. And if you don't get enough validation, pivot. Lean analytics. Understand your business model, become data-driven, and focus on one metric at a time. Good to great. Companies become great by narrowing their focus on the resources they have in their key field of competence. The tipping point. Ideas, products, messages, behaviors spread just like viruses do. And once they hit the tipping point, they become mainstream. How to win friends and influence people. There's basically 15 to 20 principles on how you must act in order to make people do what you want them to do. 21 lessons for the 21st century. Focuses on the biggest questions of the present moment and tries to uncover why we fear terrorism more than sugar, even though sugar kills more people. Abundance. The future is actually a lot brighter than it seems and a lot of it is thanks to technology. Bold. Exponential organizations have business models that require less people to achieve more growth. Like Instagram that sold for $1 billion with only 13 people in the company. Rise of the robots. The short and mid-term economic implications of AI are actually much more critical than the longer-term consequences of super intelligence. Nudge. There's hundreds of examples of why humans have cognitive biases that push them into making the wrong decisions. Crossing the chasm. Finding early adopters is hard enough, but crossing the chasm from your early adopters to the mainstream will make or break your organization. The power of habit. How do habits form? How can they be studied? triggered and trained to achieve either personal or business growth. Super intelligence. Artificial intelligence will eventually surpass the human race. They will regard us in the same way that we regard mice or ants. The second machine age. The creation of true machine intelligence and connecting all humans over digital networks are the two most important changes to come. How to create a mind. The brain contains a hierarchy of pattern recognizers and a computer version of this design could be used to create true machine intelligence. Only the paranoid survive. Don't get too comfortable you can be disrupted at any moment. And when that moment hits, your current strategy goes out the window. The fourth industrial revolution. We are on the brink of this fourth industrial revolution. And this one will be faster and unlike any other in human history. Deep work. You can only focus on deep work for four hours a day. Make use of it wisely and avoid open office plans at all costs. The innovator's dilemma. Your organization's short-term reliable gains are blocking your business from long-term counterintuitive survival and innovation. Lean UX. Focusing on the user, working in fast iterations, and working in cross-functional teams allows for the development of better products. The black swan. Expect the unexpected, the unpredictable. Paradigm-shifting events are gonna happen and they can't be predicted. Anti-fragile. Build an anti-fragile organization that can survive black swans and that can thrive from shocks and unexpected events. High output management. There's a clear set of rituals and tools that any middle management can use. And the lowest hanging fruit is probably a regular face-to-face -face meeting with the people 
people in your team. Rework. There's a set of counterintuitive ideas that will provoke you on how to be more productive. And by the way, get rid of meetings. Hacking growth. Some of the fastest growing companies in the world have adopted a process of rapid experimentation to grow faster than the competition. Creativity Inc. Some of the keys to creativity are teamwork, empowerment, and letting people decorate their desk. Predictable revenue. Cold outreach for sales actually works. Build a strong, compartmentalized sales process. And if you're cold emailing people, ask the question, who should I be talking to in your organization? Smart cuts. A bunch of stories on people in organizations who didn't use shortcuts, but smart cuts to get there faster than the competition. Viral loop. You should design viral loops into your product that will allow it to grow organically. Built to sell. How to optimize your business for scaling and for selling. The everything store. Focus on customers rather than competitors and a bunch of other stories on how Amazon grew. Hidden champions. There's at least 500 companies out there that have more than 70% market share in their market and you've probably never heard about them. Built to last. Build your company the same way you would build a cult and make sure that you define your big, hairy, audacious goal for the next 10 years and the next 25 years. The signal and the noise. Be really careful with predictions. They're usually full of overconfidence and biases. Blue ocean strategy. Try to find a new niche and guess what? You'll have no competitors, you'll have a monopoly. Steve Jobs. Being a visionary, trusting your intuition and focus are vital keys to innovation and growth. Dotcom secrets. How to build funnels and sell high ticket products. Innovator solution. Try to focus on two types of innovation. Sustaining, which modifies an existing business model and disruptive innovation, which completely changes the playing field. Congratulations, you're halfway through. Here's a motivational llama. Making websites win. Apply a customer-centric methodology that has helped so many websites grow faster than their competition. Traction. There are 19 main customer acquisition channels to attract customers. Be as creative as possible and try to focus on only a few at a time. Let my people go surfing. The story of Patagonia and how a hundred year vision creates an impactful company. The corporate startup. How to act like a startup within a corporate. Predictive innovation. There's a structured way of thinking that allows you to see what customers will want in the future. And how to use readily available resources to match those needs and create a profit. Principles, a strong collection of unconventional principles for life and for work. Hacking marketing, how you can use agile practices to make your marketing smarter, faster, and more innovative. The goal, if you do anything in manufacturing, production, supply chain, you should read this book. Reinventing organizations, why you should build and how to build an organization with a decentralized decision-making process versus a hierarchical one. Extreme ownership, learn how to take, manage, and expect ownership and how to apply leadership principles from the battlefield to business. Work the system. Try to break things down into individual systems. Try to go for off-the-street simplicity. Keep it as simple as possible. Document very carefully and improve as soon as it's possible. Profit first. Stop thinking that income minus expenses equals profit, but rather income minus profit equals expenses. Make. Stop talking and start making. This is a practical indie bootstrap guide to how to make profitable and scalable businesses. Sprint. You can actually prototype and test new products and businesses in five days days only. And by the way, leave your phone at the door. The art of war. Know your competitors, know your enemies better than they know themselves. And other tactics from warfare that you can use in a business context. Tools of the titans. Skip breakfast, exercise, sleep well, and meditate. Sapiens. Nature or nurture. This book explains the differences between the cultural influences and the biological influences that formed our society. Never split the difference. Don't be afraid to negotiate hard. Start super high or super low. Ego is the enemy. Your ego is impeding on your success. Yes it can actually be managed and directed in the right direction. The Checklist Manifesto. Make checklists. Your mind will be at ease and you'll avoid making mistakes. Atomic Habits. Focus on improving your daily, weekly habits instead of focusing on goals. And try to get 1% better every day. Chew Dog. Building a successful business like Nike is hard as hell and it takes forever. Start with why. Great leaders inspire everyone to take action because they focus on the why. Getting things done. You need to continuously write down all of the thoughts that are going in your head on some form of support or else your brain's gonna hate you and you won't have mind like water. Eat and run. 90% of running a 156K marathon is actually mental. And there's also the 10% of physical. Born to run. Do sport to actually enjoy it, not just to hit goals. Mind lift. Having laser focus, knowing how to focus is mental fitness for the modern mind. The subtle art of not giving a
The acceptance, the resilience of negative experiences is actually a positive experience in itself. The seven habits of highly effective people. Be proactive, embrace collaboration, and continuously improve yourself. So good, they can't ignore you. Why skills trump passion in the quest for the job you love. The reputation game. Different stories and tactics on how organizations and individuals were able to create a reputation or save their reputation after it had been destroyed. Who moved my cheese? How can you or your organization overcome resistance to change? Drive. There's actually much stronger incentives than just money in the workplace, such as self-direction or creating new things. Thinking fast and slow. You basically have two brains. One is fast and the other one is slow. The fast one is all about intuition, subconscious. The slow one is more about rational thinking, self-control. Hooked. Triggers, variable rewards, and frictionless interfaces are some components that make globally successful tech products addictive. Don't make me think. You should design web interfaces that are intuitive and require low cognitive overhead. The everyday design of things. Make products that are simple and functional. Persuasion. How to create the perfect preconditions, the perfect environment to persuade people. The idiot brain. A neuroscientist explains how the brain works and why it's responsible for memory, fear, and anger. Blink. Listening to your gut feeling, to your intuition, is often much more efficient than listening to your slow, rational brain. Radical candor. How to be a kick-ass boss without losing your humanity. Prediction machines. Supervised learning is becoming a commodity, just like electricity, and it's replaced not only repetitive tasks, but also predictable tasks. The business blockchain. How blockchain is a combination of software engineering, game theory, and cryptography. Capital. The differences between the ultra-rich and the rest of the population will lead to insurmountable instability. The long tail. The internet is creating an infinite number of business niches. Omadeus. Our grandchildren will look back at the meat industry like we were barbarians. Unless we get destroyed by our AI overlords. The 22 immutable laws of marketing. 22 laws that haven't changed about marketing, just like law number two, you should create a new category in which you have a monopoly. And here's the last one, ask. How to segment your audience starting from a survey. Nice, thanks everybody for making it this far. Now we're gonna get back to reading so we can recommend another hundred books. As we mentioned before, please put books that we forgot in the comments. And if you wanna download the full list, it's at this URL or it's at the link in the description. And see you really, really soon.